Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It's awesome you could make it here today. For this video, which I'm gonna be discussing the best video settings for the Canon 250D. Now this is Canon's new budget DSLR camera and it's actually really impressive. I've done a full review on the camera. If you'd like to know more or you're curious about that, then you could just check out the link shown above my head right now. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into today's video and check out the best video settings for the Canon 250D. The first place we wanna start is frames per second. And you've got two options which will really be of interest to you. The first one is 25 frames per second. On the Canon 250D, this is gonna give you the most cinematic style video footage. So if that's what you're after, you would definitely wanna choose this option. On the other hand, if you're looking to create slow motion footage, then you can choose 60 or 50 frames per second. And when you slow down your footage in your video editing software, like Premiere Pro, you can get this beautiful, lovely slow motion look, and it's really visually appealing. The next option you have is 4K. That's right, the Canon 250D comes with 4K which is gonna give you the best video resolution that you can get. Unfortunately, the autofocus in this mode is not particularly great. So you only really want to use 4K on the Canon 250D if you're shooting in a studio environment and the subjects are not moving around much in the scene. The Canon 250D has exceptional autofocus. So knowing which autofocus does what is very important. To navigate to the autofocus options, just click here in the box. The Canon 250D has four autofocus options to choose between. The first one is face tracking. When you choose this option, it's gonna put a box around the subject's face and everything in that box will stay locked in focus. Now, let me just show you an example of this here in front of the camera. You can see that this box easily stays on my face and keeps focus. And this is because of Canon's built-in dual pixel autofocus system, which is really one of the best that you can get out there. The Canon 250D also has eye autofocus, which is really impressive. This is another option that you can turn on here, and this is gonna lock focus onto your eye. It's a fantastic feature which will improve the focus on the subject's face and just take your focus to the next level. The next option is spot focus. You will have a square which appears on your live view screen. You can then click on this and drag it around to focus on different areas of your frame. This is very useful for keeping focus on small areas or following subjects moving in the frame. Next, you have flexi zone. This is a bigger square and what you can do with this option is you can just drag this around and follow your subject. This is better for slightly bigger subjects or moving subjects in your frame. A great thing with this option is to do something called focus pulls, which is actually a really creative technique used in films and things like documentaries. Finally, just like the previous option, this focus mode is great for keeping track of bigger moving subjects and you can do this by touching and following them on the screen. Picture profiles are a great way of coloring your footage. The Canon 250D has different options that you can choose from. You have different profiles such as portrait, designed for scenes with people in, designed to create a better skin tone, and you also have things like landscape as well to create more vivid colors in your landscape photos. You can also define your profiles yourself. You can change these and you can take or add color and contrast and even sharpness. You can also change the settings to make it create a flat profile. This is where you bring down your settings like color or contrast. And by bringing them down, you can then color grade your footage in your video editing software. This will give you the best looking cinematic style footage. If you'd like to know more about this, I've actually made a video on it. Just look above the screen now and you'll see the card appear. This will take you right to the video where it'll explain all about creating flat video footage on your Canon camera. 
For the best quality video on the Canon 250D, you will need to use the lowest ISO that you can. Using high ISOs can create noise in your video. So I don't usually go above 1600. I think this is important and usually try and keep it between 100 and 800 if you can. I find this is the sweet spot. The lower the ISO though, the better the quality. There is going to be certain situations when you need to push your ISO up if you're shooting low light and there's no external light in the scene. In this case, just make sure that you push your ISO up but never go above 1600. The Canon 250D has a built-in microphone. You can record the audio, but if you're looking to create better quality audio, and I would advise you do, then you want to use an external microphone. You can just plug this in, but before you do, you want to make sure you do a few steps first. Go to your menu, and then you want to go to the sound option, and then click on manual. Next, you want to turn this all the way down. And this is so your camera only picks up the external microphone and not the amps built in the camera. I'm going to leave some links to some microphones which might be useful for you if you're looking for one, which will be very suitable for the Canon 250D. You can check those links out in the description. Finally, smooth footage. Nobody likes shaky footage unless you're shooting some kind of action scene. There are two ways that you can stabilize your footage so it's not jerky. The first is to use a lens with stabilization. This is going to improve your footage and make it look smoother. The next way to do this is to get a gimbal. These create the ultimate cinematic looking smooth footage, but unless you're really serious about your video, you won't want to buy one of these. And that's because they're really expensive. So that's it for today's video. Um, I want to thank you for joining me today for this video on the best video settings for the Canon 250D. Now, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, we'd love to have you. So if you would like to watch more videos on photography and video reviews, how to's and news, then please hit subscribe and join our growing community. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.